Hello everyone, David Seven Skies here, back with Sonic Academy for a new set of video. This time I'm not gonna make a track, but I am gonna show you how to use the scariest synthesizer of them all, yet the most awesome of them all as well, which is the newly released, or I mean, yeah, it's kinda new, the newly released synth by Xfer called Serum. Now, what is Serum? Serum is a two oscillator wavetable synthesizer. What is a wavetable synthesizer? It's kind of really hard to explain what a wavetable synthesizer is, but I'm gonna try and use some kind of a cheap explanation in order to make it quite easy for you. Think about wavetable as a stack of cycles and each of these cycle has different harmonics. So we have, for example, a wavetable with five different uh, cycles and each of these five different cycles have different harmonics. So as we surf through these uh, five different cycles, the sound change its tone completely. I mean, we keep uh, obviously the same note, but the tone change completely. Uh, so we can get like a grittier sound and then like a softer sound and then some more metallic sound and everything is included within this wavetable. So Serum allows us to have 256 different cycles within this wavetable. And for now, this is all you need to know because we're gonna look at the wavetable in depth later on in the video. So moving on from the oscillator, well obviously our oscillator has a lot of um, things that we can do to it. Uh, we can detune it, we can uh, add unison, so stack different voices over it, we can change the phase, we have a wavetable position which is what we're gonna see after. Then we have this warp mode which is an effect that we can add to our wavetable. Uh, then obviously we have oscillator B, which is exactly like oscillator A. Before the oscillators, we have sub and noise, and this is uh, basically another oscillator that allows us to have a lower or a higher note independently from oscillator A and oscillator B. This is a little bit different from the two oscillator because it's just a um, simple waveform. We have sine wave, another sine wave, a triangle, then we have a saw wave, square, and square pulse width. Then we have a noise generator, and the noise generator is something that isn't really just a noise generator, but it's actually a sampler. So we can load our own sample. That can be a noise, but we can also load, like for example, a kick, we can load a, a vocal shout, we can load a lot of things into this one. And this is actually a really fun and powerful tool. Moving on, we have the filter here. Um, filter is quite a classic filter, but in addition to that, we have a whole bunch of different type of filters that we can um, put in our synthesizer. And we have also a lot of fun ones. So we have multi, then we have flangers, which are sort of a phasery and flangery type of filters. And then we have the mist, which are kind of a effects type of filter. Uh, they're gonna be a lot, a lot of fun to work with. Moving on, we have another thing that um, it's pretty, pretty cool in Serum. So every time I'm gonna talk about something, I'm gonna say that that's something super cool in Serum. Uh, the thing is, Serum is actually super, super cool. Like it has, everything you see in here is just awesome. It's so beautifully done and it's being created with in such a smart and creative way that may, that basically makes this synthesizer probably one of the best um, that's around. Not, ju not just in sound, but in terms of like how easy and versatile some of the parameters are when you create a sound. But anyway, um, so over here in this panel, we have all of our modulation and we have macro controls over here. Then we have three envelope, envelope one, envelope two, and envelope three. And then we have four LFOs, LFO1, LFO2, LFO3, LFO4. And over here we have control on the velocity and on the node position, which is basically a modulation based on the key that we are playing. Moving to the other panel over here, we have the effects panel 
and we have a lot of effects. We have 10 different effects that we can put on our sound to make it even cooler. Then over here, there's the modulation metrics, which is where we're gonna see all of our modulation. So this is a big list of modulation and basically whenever we assign a source to a destination it's gonna pop up here and we are gonna be able to control it and have um, some extra control that we wouldn't have in the main page. Then after the metrics modulation, we have the global page and the global page is where we can basically uh, set the preferences of our uh, synthesizer. We can change the oversampling of the synthesizer. What is oversampling? Oversampling is not a really hard thing to explain um, and it doesn't really have much to do with uh, this synth in particular. It's just a um, way of processing sound. It's some sort of a CPU kind of thing. Um, but basically is quality. So right now we are at 2x, so we have a really good quality, but we can crank it up to 4x and the quality is gonna be even better but it won't be extremely noticeable unless we are doing some operation with our synthesizer. If we're just using normal sound, um, we don't really hear the difference. The problem with um, for X oversampling is that, yes, it does sound better, but it also suck a lot of your CPU. So sometimes it's better to just keep it at two and you're just good to go. Then over here we have Chaos 1 and Chaos 2, and those are uh, some extra modulation. We're gonna look at that as well. And then we have Unison, which basically gives us uh, some extra control on the Unison and the Detune that we can see over here. So yes, this is Serum. And now we're gonna dig and look at every single panel and knob in this synthesizer. We're gonna learn how to do things. We're gonna see what does what and how to do it and how to get to a certain sound. And you'll see that at the end of these videos, this scary looking synth won't be scary anymore, and you will be the master of Serum. So, now it's time to go and look at the oscillators.